morning students, welcome back from your holidays. The time has come for your group assessment. So, get into your groups. Renny Xiang, I like your new hair. Huh. Kevin, do you want to be in my group? <gasps> really? Of course. Yes. <clears throat> hey, Vicky. Do you think Ben will want to be in the same group as me? T1, T5, as you all know, aside from excelling as an individual, it's important for the school to see how well you work with others. And so, your group project will be 30% of your final grade. So you better take it seriously! Your task is to build a paper aeroplane that can fly the furthest. Now, get into your groups. favor by deciding your groups for you. Oh. Get back to your seats. In group A, we have Abby, Hamza, Ben and Debbie. Group B, Juhi, Pei Shi, Renny Xiang and Kevin. Yes. In group C, Sherilyn, Melissa, Vincent, oh. Denise and Tian Hao. <laughs> Not Tian Hao, huh? it's Vicky. Hmm? And in group D, we have Trev, Tian Hao, Sandeep and Vignesh. Who? Okay, come. Get to work, people. So, you guys knew or something? Are kindergarten si tere class mein hui yaar. Really? Kindergarten? Yeah, they tujhe tola jana tha. Aur tumne apne pant mein hi. Okay, okay. We don't have to talk about that. <laughs> Wait, but you don't speak English? Are tujhe pata hona chahiye. Mujhe English nahi aati par main Thai, Punjabi, Hindi, French, Korean, Japanese, Somalian, sab kuch pata hai. Great. And Awesome. Oh, Trev, finally someone familiar. So I was thinking for our design. Um, yeah. Sorry, bro. Um, I'm going to go over to Ben's table. For what? Oh, to see if he has any ideas. I'll be back. <laughs> Wait, it's just great. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? How's it going bro? It's whack, bro. I'm just gonna show you guys and then do all the work. I don't care. Are you sure? It's 30% of our grade. Psh, I'll make up for you during the exams. Okay. Hey, you guys wanna play Member Story M? There's a new update. I think we should get some work done before we start playing, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> but I mean, she's right. Ow. We should focus on our project first. What? Okay. Okay, okay. What am I supposed to do? Do you think we're allowed to use calculators? Does anyone need a calculator? Uh, I think this one. I brought glitter glue. Do you think we can use that? Does anyone need blue tag? Does anybody have a ruler? <laughs> yes! Hey guys, check it out. In Maple Story M's new update, there's this new character called Phantom. His main weapon is a cane and he steals the skills of Explore class characters to beat others down. Oh my god, I've been playing too. I keep using steel because it makes the gameplay so fun. Yeah, I mean, check it out. Chipa, chipa, pa, pa. <laughs> Vincent, it's fine if you don't want to contribute, but can you not distract the rest of the group mates? Ah, <sighs> alright babe, I'll contribute. What topic is this again? What are we doing here? Aren't we supposed to build something? Uh, something about boats, right? I need to show you guys something. So somehow Vicky knew about this project months ago. So three of us did some pre-research and came out different ways on how I can follow a plane. Look! Well done, ladies. 
Thanks. Mm. Which design do you think we should yeah. go for? Well, actually, I've been doing some research on aerodynamic principles on my own and I've come up with these 10 different designs. Each of these have been crafted using very precise flow visualizations and force measurements. Plus, I've taken into account the lift equations, so our plane will be able to stay in the air for the longest period of time. But actually, we don't need to use all of these, just this one. This is the best. This one, I can build with a remote control. So, technically, it will stay in the air for the longest period of time. Okay, so as the group leader, I want to make sure that we crush the other groups. You do know that it's not a competition, right? What do you mean this is not a competition? Of course it is a competition. Okay, so here are some of the rules that I came up with for all of you. So, Kevin, go and do some research. And Juhi, go and gather all the materials that we need to make the perfect plane. And you, Ren Yixiang, go and get some markers and start on the decorations so we can have a pretty place. What about you? You're doing nothing. Supervising, delegating, envisioning. And for your messing. Why? It's not easy to be a group leader, okay? Okay, so go and complete all the tasks that I've given you. Okay, we're done with the designs. You guys can play your game now. Do you want to join us? Really? Okay. Oh, did you guys know that they applied the wedding system to Maple Story M in their new update? Mm. Characters can now get married in the game and get an eternal wedding ring, and there are massive rewards for the couples and the attendees of the ceremony. Look, guys. <laughs> hey, Debbie, let's get married. <gasps> really? What? <laughs> Uh, just a thank you. <laughs> so that we can receive bonus special buff during gameplay and also receive special rewards when we celebrate our anniversary. So it makes sense for us to get married, right? It better just be in the game, bruh. Of course, it's just in the game. Let's go to the wedding park and propose. Hey guys, let's attend the ceremony and get the rewards. <laughs> <laughs> So the paper part of the plane will be made with the mm. paper board. Oh yeah, uh, the yeah. paper board. Then we need a ruler. A uh, measuring tape? Yes, definitely. Yeah. A measuring tape. Hmm. Guys, where are the materials? Where are the markers? And where do you guys even go? Patient. You did nothing, okay? So we decided not to do anything as well. Yeah, why must we make the plane so colourful? Are we even graded on that? Why not just make it pink? And who made it a group leader anyways? I'm the leader because no one volunteered. Madam Su Bing, is doing nothing and is making us do all the work. What the hell is wrong with you? Who would trust you to be the leader? Who would trust you in general? You make promises and you don't show up. This is not what you're not for, okay? And you, can you be more specific? What thing? Stop talking around me, the baby can hear! Wow, 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 Group C! What is this? I'm very impressed. These designs are more advanced than most scientists can come up with. Hmm, yes, yes. We all came up with this together, but uh... Mostly me. Mostly me. I did most of the things. Just, uh, just because I really want to be involved in uh, making this. Is that so? Hmm. And I'm so I can't take all the credit myself. It's a teamwork thing. Everyone did their part. Even though I did more, I did more. But everyone deserves credit. Okay, well then, great initiative, Vincent. Hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing your end product then. Just doing my part. Teamwork! Group D! Why does it look like you haven't made any progress at all? The rest of your classmates are already done with their designs! Uh, well, Madam Sudbang... Good afternoon, I, Madam Sudbang. We are trying to complete our work, but uh, as the group leader, Tin Hao refuses to give us any tasks. 
贱，好胆。How selfish of you! Always thinking that you're so smart. You're gonna cause all your teammates to fail. Wake up! So now you speak English. Help me figure out this equation. क्या बोल रहे हो? मुझे समझ नहीं आई. All right. Look, guys. This is 30% of our grade and I know that I'm not going to do well in the exams. So I'm really counting on this group project and I need everyone's cooperation to just do whatever it takes to get this done. Alright? So, here's the plan. I know a guy who we can pay to make these kind of stuff. So all we have to do is just pass this to him. Huh? Take it. Just take it. Tell them you want it paid. All right. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Are you saying that you want to cheat? Well, mm. dude, if anybody else finds out, or if Madam Su Bang finds out, we're gonna get screwed. And I, for one, do not partake in these kind of. Hey, huh? waiting for what? Let's go. Um, All right. Okay. Oh, hey, Denise. Hey, Jia Hao. How's your group going? Uh, <laughs> my group, it's great, it's great. It's just the best. Yeah. Really? Mm hmm. Well, if you need this, these are some of my designs. Oh. I know we're not supposed mm. to share them, but these are not used, so technically you won't be copying. Oh, wow. Thanks, Denise. No worries. You know, I heard that one of the groups are paying someone outside the school to do the project for them. And I just think it's so unethical. As students, how can we be so dishonest about our work? If it were me, I would feel so embarrassed about myself. Mm -hmm. If I found out who did it, I would lose all respect for them. I know, right? Me too. Um, is your eye okay? Uh, my eye? Uh, it's it's all right. Just a just a little twitch. Oh, I have some eye more in my locker. Let me go and get it for you. Uh, no. Uh, I mean, uh, it's just an allergy, so you don't have to worry about it. What about tissue? I can get it from my locker as well. Uh, how about we just go back into class, okay? Um, you can go in first, and I'll catch you back inside. Um, are you sure? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm okay. Sure. I'll I'll see you inside. Guys, I don't think we should cheat anymore. I have these and I think we can build a plane. What did you say, bro? I can't afford to fail. I can only afford to cheat. So take this, man. Okay. Just, just, just take it, just take it. And throw it away, just throw it away. So, I heard that Tian Hao's team is cheating on their project. What? No, he would never do that. Ah, forget about it, babe. You know what, we should totally get married on Maple Story M and think of all the couple names we can have. There's Dinsent, Venice. How about Dins? You like Dins? You like Dins? Yeah, yeah let's go! Dins, 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 Shall we get married? All right, you guys. You all are all invited for the wedding. You're all gonna get those rewards. Yeah. Guess that means we're official now. <laughs> hey, bro. Have you seen my rocket? You wanna play with it? Ah, 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 my rocket. Why are you taking so long? Just change the field once to pass and we're done! Look, with all this power, don't you want to get to decide who gets to come back and who doesn't? You are not supposed to be here! No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I'm going to pretend that I did not see any of this. If we cannot get rid of the current students, we will force them out with the others. If you could provide me with all the lists of names of the students involved in the heist, I might just conveniently leave it in. I'm sick of everyone outcasting Pavali. Just because he's a little different and quirky doesn't make him a bad person. 
But if we don't do something about it, we're all gonna get expelled. I didn't write the name to the diary, but I don't think it's gonna let me go unless I tell who's involved. Oh my god. If I can get this information out of you myself, or bring it to someone who can. Boy, you have something to tell me? Just give me one name. The one who planned everything. No, 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 okay, okay. It was set out. He planned everything. It was his idea to break into the office, change the results, so that no one would get expelled. Ha 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 ha. After this announcement, we will have Ren Yixiang come up to perform the school anthem. Ren Yixiang, you're up next. Will be enough. Oh no. Students, I'm sure you have heard rumors about the break in to the school's office. Now, all those rumors are true. After a deep investigation and a confession from a student, we have finally found the mastermind behind it. Jian Hao Tan. Jian Hao? Step up now. What? How does he know? I don't know, but you're not going to tell on me, right? Right? What is he talking about? Sit down. Okay. You see everyone, it is students like this that hinder your education and obstruct the organization's vision for Titan Academy. Mr. Jen Hao, we can be lenient. We don't have to shave your head or publicly embarrass you. All you have to do is point out to the students who help you break into the office. It was just me. How honourable. <laughs> Come on. I would never. I would never. Just give me one name. That's all I need. You know some names. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yasmin. Do we have a Yasmin? Who's Yasmin? Um, but, but this is my first day in school. Are you serious? Hi, Yasmin. Sometimes I forgot there's more than two classes in this school. Enough of this nonsense. Now, give me all the names of everyone that has helped you in this. I'd rather get expelled. Oh, well, you will. But first... Come on, come on, make it easy. It'll be quick. It will be quick. Stop! I was a part of it too. Denise, what are you doing? You weren't even there. If you're gonna punish him, You'll have to punish me as well. Well, in that case, girl... Mr. Allen, I don't think that's a good idea. She's the smartest one, and we cannot afford to expel her. Think about the Academy Awards, the competition. 
Titan Academy's reputation lies in her hands. We have all of them in our grabs. We'll get them next time. We have bigger plans. Jian Hao, lucky as always. Go back to your seat. Sit down, girl. Let this be a reminder to all students. Do not go against us or you face the consequences. Ever since we took over the school, our organisation have realised just how much the students and the school faculty is lacking in discipline and commitment. This mess is a perfect example of that. We came here to save the school. You should be thanking us. But instead, you repay us with disrespect and disobedience. How are we supposed to run the organisation if it isn't a profitable business? We thought we have made enough changes, but it seems that there's a lot more to be done. That being said, let me introduce to you a new head of department. Dad? Listen up, students. My name is James Ng. I own an asset management company under the same organizational structure. That's why our director, Alan, chose me for this role. And trust me when I say this, things are going to change around here. Don't worry, it's only the 27th time I've heard that. Boy, stand up. Do you have something to say? No. Then why are you interrupting my speech? It's because I, I, I just... Well, Rene Shang is just sharing his excitement on having you in the department, Mr. James. That's right. Both of you sit down. <laughs> Kevin, you're gonna need this. From today onwards, all students will be required to take part in compulsory remedial classes for two hours after school. For class T1, T5 specifically, you will also be spending Saturdays in school to prepare for your international exams, which I have been tasked to oversee. And I do not take failure as an answer. I know we have implemented expulsion for students who fail, but apparently that isn't enough since we still have people failing. We've decided to take it up a notch. Students who fail will be blacklisted by all schools nationwide. All the students who don't plan on studying, good luck finding a school. I will also be bringing new school faculty because the current roster is inadequate, to say the least. You teachers are far too lenient on these students. For as long as you continue to be disobedient, unorganized scoundrels, we will keep implementing changes, even if it means making your lives a living Hell. You are dismissed! Thanks for having my back, Denise. Denise, is something wrong? Why didn't you tell me that you snuck into the school office and changed the exam results? I didn't want to get you involved. It was so risky, the whole highs, the whole planning, and I don't know what I'd do if I got you expelled. But I almost got expelled, so what's the difference? It was just too much. I didn't want to get you involved. There was just so many things happening, getting chased by Madam Subing, the security, there was like a million things happening. You and still don't get it. I don't care about what happens. What I care about is that I am there with you. You know what? I think my mom was right about you. What do you mean? I should be focusing on the exams. I should be focusing on school. I shouldn't be getting distracted. What are you trying to say? I think we need to take a break. What? 
I'm sorry. I have to go. At least we got to find out who the mastermind was, right? You had one job. One simple job and you cannot do it properly. I, I didn't expect Denise to take all the blame. That girl. In my 30 years, I've never been so embarrassed before. I want you to do whatever it takes to get that girl out of my school. But Mrs. Ragnar said she's one of the top students. I don't care. Make it happen. If you need to plant something to make her look bad, do it. Yes, sir. Uh... I'm so nervous. I don't think I did well. I feel the same way. I just want to get it over with. Don't worry, guys. We studied so hard. I'm sure we did fine. I hope so. It's really important for me, especially because I'm applying to MIT. Why are you guys talking about MIT? Is it M-I-T-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E? Is that the song? Huh? That's not how you spell Mickey. Oh, yep. That's right, Mickey. Good morning, students. I have your SAT scores here with me. Now, let me just remind you that the perfect score is 1600 and the lowest score you could possibly get is 400. Unless, of course, you did something stupid like forget to write your name. Why are you only looking at me? Did I forget to write my name? Did I spell my name wrong? Bang? Wait a minute. We're getting our results. Today? What? No, no. I'm not ready. I was having a good day. I was having a good day. No, no, I'm not ready. Not today. No, not today. <laughs> I guess I'll go first, huh? Okay. No pressure, right? What's the worst thing that can happen? <laughs> So how did you do, Vincent? Are you kidding me? I scored a 900! A 900! Is anyone going to tell him that 900 is not a good score? Guess who got 900? I just got 900! Guess who scored 900? Now I get to college! Vincent, a 900 isn't actually something to celebrate about. Look, Denise. I know I'm not you. I can't score your fancy schmancy MRT Nancy scores. But I scored a 900! Not two digits, but three digits! <laughs> Julia scored 61 or like 67, but no, now it's 900! <laughs> I didn't even finish the second section! You know, it's probably because I did amazing in the reading part. <laughs> I'm unstoppable! Debbie, how did you do? Not too bad, I guess. You can see, I wasn't expecting it. It can't be that bad, right? What's your score? What? 1400? Debbie, that's amazing! That's the highest score so far! Even with two zeros? Oh my god! Mom, what are you doing here? Chill, bestie. I heard that you're getting your results today, so I just want to see how well you did. Oh, I remember that feeling, the nostalgia. Oh, my friends and I were so nervous getting our results. <laughs> Anyway, let me see your results. What? 1400? Where's your teacher? I need to speak to the exam board right now and I demand an explanation. This exam is rigged. It's a conspiracy. How can my daughter score 1400 over 2400? Miss Chelsea is actually out of 1600. They changed it a couple of years ago. What? Back in my day, it was out of 2400. Oh, so how did you score, Auntie? Uh, let's not talk about this. Uh, we're here to talk about you, not me. How about we talk about you over dinner in my place? Oh, uh, you bunch of jokers, always messing around. By the way, Mommy's late for high tea, so I'll see you later. Bye! Dude, what's wrong with you? That's Debbie's mom. Yeah, I wish I had a mommy like her. 
Okay, okay, my turn, my turn. Go for it, Julian. What's the matter, Julian? What if it's not what I expect? What if I didn't do good enough? You know what? Kevin, please open for me. Wow, you're amazing, Julie. You scored 1,500. Really? Oh my god! I knew I did well! Um, <laughs> That's great, Julie. See, you have nothing to worry about. I don't see that. Wait a minute. It says here you owe the school 1,500. This is your tuition fee. What? This must be it then. 1400. Yes, still not too bad. Your phone bill is 1400. What? Wow, all my bills here. Where's my results? Let me have you check. 950. That's not too expensive. Who do I owe this time? You owe your parents an explanation. These are your results. 1400 for a phone bill? That's way too expensive. Where have you been calling? So how do you do, Kevin? Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. I got an A. You know, Kevin, that's not how it works. There's a scoring system. Yeah, I know that. I scored 10 upon 10. The minimum that you can score is a 400, Kevin. Then I got 5,000. Kevin, just tell us your results. Stop lying about it. Either way, you look dumb. Fine, I scored 14,000. 1,400. Fine, I scored 1,400. Who's the dumb one now? Kevin, 1,400 is a pretty good score. So why do you have to lie about it? Well, I didn't want Julie to feel bad about it. Feel bad about what? So how do you do, Reni Sam? It's not good. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. You know what, Kevin? Do me a favor. Hit me as hard as you can. What? No, I can't do that. I gotta do this. I need to be prepared for what my grandma has prepared for me when she sees my horrible. My horrible results. I'm begging you hit me. I'm begging you to hit me. I'm begging you to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need more layers. <laughs> you know, Denise, it's your turn. Don't worry. If there's one person that will do well, it's you. Guys, I got a perfect score. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's nice. amazing, Denise. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. We always knew you were a genius. Congrats, Denise. See, I told you so. Thanks, everyone. But honestly, I don't think I would have been able to do this without all of you. Happy to help Denise. What are friends for, you know? <laughs> See, I helped Denise because you guys broke up and I helped her. Zhao, what do you get? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep this one to myself. Hey, that's not fair. All of us shared our results. That's right. What are you scared about? Shin, 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 shin. You know what? Guys, it doesn't even matter that much. Of course it does. If you're planning to go to MIT with Denise, you gotta score at least 1400, right? You know what? You got a real big mouth. Hey, hey, you know what? Actually, it doesn't really matter that much, right? I mean, he still has his GPA. Yeah, about that. Uh, extra credit? <laughs> A letter of recommendation? At least he still comes to school every day. At least he comes to school sometimes. Okay, what I'm trying to say is, there's more to him than just his test results. Right? Right? No matter what, we're proud of you. 
Great, I guess it doesn't matter then. 876. You're going nowhere with this. That's not true. He is going somewhere. Just not college. He's going home. Give it back. You go home. Not his home, your own home. Well, since everyone is sharing their results, maybe we should see how much I got for the test hack. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe no one cares. No one cares. 1580. And he's still gonna do it. He's still gonna say it. There must be a mistake. Oh my. It is the right results. Who would have thought I got so highly? Can we just go away? It's not that big of a deal, guys. I just went into the paper hoping for the best. Just like you guys did, right? Heavenly, we are happy for you, but shouldn't be rubbing it in our faces like this. Yes, some of us might have not gotten the scores that we wanted, but there is so much more to life than this number on the paper. And learning is a process. And I'm so proud of all of us for all of the hard work and the effort that we have put in. So yes, maybe the test scores, they were not ideal at the end of the day. This is not the end of the world. I'm not rubbing it in. I'm just stating facts. And the fact is that I scored highly and you guys probably didn't. Okay, there's more. There's more. It never ends. And I didn't even study. You know what? What? Yes? Huh? Uh, guys, uh, maybe we should sit down. You know what? Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Maybe you should try harder next time. I'll make you hard next time! Whoa, whoa, wait, you what? can't say that. Don't say that. No, no. We both be hard next time! You said, you said the same thing. That means thing. the same thing. You just switch things the next time. Every time I make you hard! No, That's no. Worse. We can both be hard! Renny Siang, stop it. Hmm. Better watch out! Hold me back, hold me back. <laughs> Students! I've just got word of your exam results. And even though most of you pass, I'm still quite disappointed. Especially with you, Tian Hao. The lowest of the bunch. You didn't even finish your calculator math section. Sometimes I wonder what the teachers even teach you. Well, at least you still have a chance to fix it. Let's hope all of you will not perform this badly at the science fair. Science fair? Science fair. Science fair. Oh, haven't I mentioned it earlier? All candidates who are competing in the inter-school decathlon will also take part in the annual school science fair. If I were you, I'll start preparing. Can this get any worse? I'll be accepting no failures. That's the guy who failed in his marriage, daughter, and relationship. Yes, Mr. James? It was Juno! He said that! I didn't say it! I think you're a great father! You're a great teacher too! You deserve all the love in the world! But this guy, he's me! He says bad things about you! I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Screw him. <laughs> Science fair, we should all start thinking about what we should do. Shall we meet tomorrow? Is it going to be at your place? Is your mom going to be there? I mean, I mean is, are, you, are you going to be there? Of course I'm going to be there. It's my house. That's good. Just, just checking. Just checking, guys. Yeah. Hey, out of curiosity, what happened? It's not like you to get such a low score. It is like me. Yes, it is like you. But anyway, don't be too disheartened. You can always take the SATs again, and the Science Fair and Decathlon will help. And just try your hardest. If you need any help, I'm still here. Hey, Denise! I got us two tickets to the Science Fair to get us ready for the Science Fair. So let's go! And after that, we're gonna go eat some ice cream. Sure, sounds great, Vincent. Yeah, let's go, let's go. See you, after you. You wanna go? Well, I only got two tickets. Ah. Why don't you just tell her the truth? That you switched out her calculator with the broken one. Isn't it sweeter that I'm helping her without her knowing? <laughs> Your voice is so stupid. If you tell her, she'll feel touched. It's that simple. I don't know why you guys are always trying to overcomplicate things. So what, uh, you're just gonna let Vincent swoop in and take her to the science centre? Maybe you're right. But it's just so frustrating. Like I'm trying as hard as I can so I can apply to MIT with her. But at the same time, if I didn't switch the calculator with her, she wouldn't have gotten a perfect score. Then tell her! If you don't, it feels like you couldn't care less. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should tell her. No, what are you waiting for? Go after her! Mom, what are you doing here? Well, I heard that you're getting your SAT scores today, so I came specifically to pick you up. I guess we'll go on another time. 
by the niece's mom. So, how well did you do? 1600. Perfect score, mom. Well, I guess that's okay. But actually, there's something that I would like to talk to you about. If it's about boys and dating, then save your breath. Look, Denise, see what you can achieve when you don't have any distractions in your life. You need to focus on your studies now. But besides, it's the bare minimum if you expect to go to MIT. Maybe I don't want to go to MIT. How dare you! May I kindly remind you that every single member of our family graduated from an Ivy League college and you are expected to do the same. Maybe I just want to do something for myself for once. And maybe you need to be responsible to our family to uphold the legacy of academic excellence. Look, my dear, do you think your friends will be there for you when you need them in future? No, they won't. So you have to focus on your studies and your future. But mom, my friends are important to me too. And I want to experience something outside of academics. I always listen to you. Even when you ask me to break up, I listen. And it's just getting so much harder to pretend that everything is okay. My job is to raise you right. And your job is to learn how to prioritize what's important in your life. But what about happiness? Isn't that important too? You will be happy when you are successful. And you will be successful when you get into MIT. Full stop. I just wish you understood me, Mom. Okay, tell me. What did your boyfriend get for his SAT? 876. Out of? 1600. How unworthy. You need to remember your priorities and your education comes first. I understand, Mom. Good. Let's go home. I need to prepare for a meeting and you need to continue studying. Heavily, I'm so glad that you are full of smiles. Tell me, did that girl Denise fail her SAT? Um, no sir, she got a perfect score. Perfect score? Then why are you so happy? I gave you one simple job to make her fail and ruin her. And you cannot even do that. Mr. Allen, I tried. All I'm hearing is excuses. If you don't find a way to ruin her grades, I will have no choice but to cancel your academic scholarship. Tell me, will your mother be able to pay for your tuition without the scholarship? No, she won't be able to. Then do something right for once. The science fair, the competition, don't mess this up. Yes, sir. Mr. Allen, what's this about Denise? Did we not agree that she's our star pupil? That girl embarrassed me in front of the whole school. I cannot let that go. But Mr. Allen, I don't think it's very wise to do that. Retna, the last time I checked, you worked for me. All it takes is for one bad sheep to spoil the flock. And I don't intend to let that happen. There's something that I've been wanting to ask you But I've been thinking about it, maybe this is not the right place Maybe we can meet after school Or you could just tell me now I mean, we're free, there's no teachers <laughs> All the time All the time <laughs> Do you think Michelle is gonna come back? I'm just gonna sit here Vincent, you've been crying over this for the past week. Just deal with it, alright? If Miss Shirley doesn't want to come, then there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Listen up, fellow classmates. Since there's no teacher around, I'm not going to let what happened to the other class to us. So let us be productive. Yes, I agree, Kevin. We should be productive. Be quiet, Denise. I'm trying to mark you. Monitor? Who made you class monitor? 
Yeah, Kevin. Who made you the class monitor? I think I'm in the wrong class. Sit back down, Kevin. Yes, Miss Shirley. Miss Shirley, you're back! Yeah, Miss Shirley, Miss Shirley, what's going on, Miss Shirley? Well, it's something that you students don't need to be involved in. Perhaps one day you'll understand. But for now, it's time for presentation! <laughs> As I've mentioned, I have actually asked you all to prepare something to share, right? So, who wants to go first? Ben, come on up! Hi guys, so I'll be sharing with you what I've done over the last few months. I play basketball, yeah? Basketball is a team sport in which two teams, most commonly of four, four, four to five players each, uh, opposing one another on a regular rectangular court, uh, complete with the primary objective of shooting a basketball. Ben, I don't think you're supposed to read off the slides, you know? But I didn't memorize. Just try to face the audience, maybe? Okay. Okay, so yeah, what, what was I saying? Uh, ah, winning when playing basketball is something that we want to avoid. Yes. And when it rains, it creates puddles and it doesn't make me very happy. Yeah. And I played with puddles when I was younger. And I played basketball also. Uh, it doesn't go out together. What goes out together would be... Would uh, be you sitting back down I have more preparation next time, okay? Go, okay, okay. go, go. Miss Shirley, my partner Terry did not come today, so I don't think I'm ready to present. But you have to work with what you have, Julie. Mm, I guess I could do that. Thanks. Hi guys, I'm Juhi. And today we'll be presenting on... Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, Terry, because we actually go through that in our everyday lives. How about you elaborate on more on it? Uh-huh. Precisely. That's right. Wow! What a shocking fact! I bet you guys didn't know that. Alright guys, now it's my turn to tell you. Oh what, Terry? You wanna mention that too? Uh-huh. So now, if there's one thing to learn from today is to... Make sure to water your plants every day. Oh! And that too. Thanks, Terry. Don't you make a great team? Well, <laughs> thanks for that, Juhi and uh, Terry. <laughs> Let's give them a clap. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks, yeah. Okay, so uh, who's next? Today, I want to talk to all of you about a story that happened. I think some of you already know the story about broken love. Something my parents had to go through and my world was torn apart. Uh, Vicky, could you please speak a little louder? We can't hear you in the back. I'm already speaking very loudly. So when I was six years old, I followed my mom and I hit her for being so strict. But only now did I realise that the reason why she was so strict is because she wants the best for me. Vicky, we really need you to speak up. Can you stop interrupting me? I'm not going to say again, okay? Now, I do realise even though she's not my teacher anymore, She's still my mother. Vicky? You're done? Yeah. Great! <laughs> Thank you so much. You can go back to your seat. Hi everyone! This is Charlene. And this is Julie. And together, we are the Green <laughs> Okay, okay. Today, we prepared something about our... <laughs> <laughs> you do it! No, you do it! No, you do it! Okay, okay, I'll do it! <laughs> okay, so today we'll be doing a presentation about our favourite purchases during the holidays. So, we actually brought the... <laughs> oh wait, we forgot to bring the item! <gasps> I brought it. Uh, 
Okay, okay. How about you guys just go back to your seats, okay? Try not to forget next time. Okay, so... <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Good afternoon, fellow classmates. Good afternoon, Miss Shirley. Today, I have something very special to present to you all. It is called 10 Types of Students, presented by myself. So, first up, we have... The not so cool student, which is Kevin. As you all know, um, he's not so cool. Just look at the way he's sitting. Um, not cool, really uncool. However, since he helped me with the photos for this presentation, mm, I guess he's all right. It's, he's kind of cool. Just kind of. Next, we have the wannabe, which is Ren Yi Xiang. Um, he's going through some sort of identity crisis. He's not too sure what he is, who he is. Maybe he got heartbroken by someone, but that is not an excuse for him to act the way he's acting. And all I know is somebody needs to knock some sense into him. Uh -oh. Next, it's the helpful student, Debbie. But don't be deceived by her looks, even though she looks kinda nerdy. There was that one time she let me copy all her answers and I got everything wrong. But lovely girl, lovely girl, you know, wife material. Whoever marries her is probably a lucky guy. Maybe in another universe? Maybe. Next is Sherilyn! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I didn't think I'd be part of this! Yes, yes, yes! I can't wait to hear what he has to say! She's, she's okay, I guess. That's it? Yay! I'm okay! Next is the stranger, Vignesh. Who is he? What is he? Is he even in our class? Is he even from the other class? Is he even from this school? Who knows? What's up with him? He's not even here today. Next. So, oh, I, I told you not to add this in. Sorry, Mission. Next, next. Ahaha! The bro, Trev. Bro! I got you, bro, no matter what, man. Ah, there we go, Trev, the broke student. Now, as you all know, Trev invested all his money into stonks and now he's kinda broke, kinda desperate. But, but, they asked me to buy the doggy coins. Just sit down. Next. Ah, Vicky. Um, Vicky is the... Um, honestly, I just added this in so Vicky, you could tell Madam Sukbang to just kindly return my phone. It's been over a year and I really, really need it for MLBB because I'm missing out. Next. Ah! Vincent, the funny guy. And the funny thing about Vincent is that he thinks he has a chance with Denise. You <laughs> <laughs> see all laughing, you yeah, all seeing how it is now. You guys wait, you guys just wait. And last but not least, we have the perfect student. Denise, she's smart, she's intelligent, she's unique, and most importantly, she's not afraid to be herself. And finally, we have the student with the best presentation, and that would be me. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. If you guys like it, uh, please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you all next week. Really interesting, Tianhao. Have you ever thought about being a YouTuber? YouTuber? Mm, maybe it's not the right career path for me. But I'll think about it, Miss Shirley. Do you really mean all of that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see how it is. Miss Shirley, I want to go next. You know, guys, I actually already have a presentation on how we can improve the quality of our PE lessons. I mean, the last time we had a PE lesson, all we did was move Mr. Dan's stuff out of his car. But now, I have something more important to share. It is about the one and only Denise and why she should be my girlfriend. You see, Denise is what I would call the perfect one. She is so smart. She is super intelligent. And most of all, 
she is not afraid to be herself, 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 herself. Everything is from the bottom of my heart. Denise, you are the E to my MC5. You mean square? Yeah, whatever that is. I'm done. Can you believe this guy? Well, I think it's kind of sweet. That's right. I bet she's going to talk about science or something like that. Now, I know everyone thinks that I'm going to talk about a science experiment or even a math equation, but I wanted to be a little unpredictable, so I'm actually going to present this poem that I've written about how I feel recently. That's great. I mean, it's good to see you try something new. Whenever you're ready. It's about a love triangle, isn't it? Love triangle? Are you even listening? Yellow wood, he obviously wants to go hiking. Do you think she wants me to ask her to go hiking? <laughs> Who would have thought the day would come where Jasmine and I team up, bonded by our favorite game, Mobile Legends Bang Bang. The game that we've been playing during quarantine all night long. Sending emotes to each other, laning side by side, farming creeps and attacking towers, one at a time. Wow, you guys actually came in outfits. I'm impressed. Of course! These are the outfits of the character from our favourite game Mobile Legends Bang Bang. That's right, so Mobile Legends Bang Bang is actually a 5v5 mobile showdown game where you can actually choose your favourite heroes and create the perfect team together with your friends. So I'm sure most of you here have already downloaded the game onto your phones, right? There are plenty of events that run throughout the whole year in MLBB. However, right now they are having their most popular annual event and it's called the 515. Ooh, sounds interesting. What is the 515 event about? So, the UI design of the game will actually change during the 515 event period to actually go along with the post-cyberpunk elements that were specifically designed for the 515 event itself. And there will also be other in-game rewards and events that were made for the event. So if you haven't already downloaded the game, you all should do so now so that you guys don't miss out on any of them. In addition to that, for for this year's 515 event, Mobile Legends Bang Bang have debuted a new group called STU and Stun, consisting of Cho, Selena, and Brody. And they are also the virtual group of Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Guys, what the heck? You guys told me to be Stun Cho. I thought you were gonna be Stun Selena and Stun Brody. What? What's this? What outfit is this, guys? What? What skin is this? And Alucard, really? I can't believe I'm saying this, Kevin, but you look better as Odette. What's up with the outfit, guys? Well, we had a change of plans. Okay, you know what? You know what? You guys are on your own, but I'm keeping the skateboard. <sighs> okay. And to end it off, if you guys want to rank up, hit me up. It's Baby K77. And hers, Baby J. Alright, they don't need to know that. So if you guys haven't already downloaded the game, do so now and we can participate in the event together. Alright, thank you so much. Have a nice day. Hey guys! Over the past week, I've taken up magic, so today I'll be performing some magic for you guys. So this is my first trick. Oh, um, it's okay, I have another deck. So right now I'm gonna pick a card. So remember the card. And I'm gonna shuffle it. And Jasmine, is this your card? That's not even a card, Debbie. It is a bell. Uh, it's okay, I have another trick. For this trick, I'm gonna pull a rabbit out of my head. Abra Kadabra. Fluffy? Fluffy? 
Fluffy. Hey everyone, I think I think my rabbit ran out. Can you check if he's under your table? <laughs> Why? I'm so scared of bunnies. <laughs> Trick. I have one more trick. Um, for this trick, I need a volunteer. Oh, me, 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 please, me. With this cloth, I'm gonna make you disappear. It's so fun, it's so fun. I can't right. disappear. Oh. Abra, ka, dabra. It, it worked. I, I mean, ta da! It, it worked. That was really impressive, Debbie. Thank you so much. Shirley, I'm done. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you supposed to bring her back? Oh, um, I haven't learned that part of the trick yet. Thank you. I know you guys think I'm here to talk about what I've been doing before we came back to school, but no, everyone needs to know the truth. What are you talking about? The truth about the academy. Okay, now listen. The Academy was founded in 1993 by Mr. and Mrs. Tan as part of their creative vision to start a school to have a safe environment to study in and for students to find out their passions. Now since the school was founded, Titan Academy has become one of the most prestigious institutions. I don't know guys, I just feel like something has changed drastically in the landscape of the school ever since the pandemic. What do you mean, Aja? Well, Miss Shirley, ever since the pandemic, everything at Titan Academy seems to be going wrong. More and more teachers are disappearing, which makes no sense at all. On top of that, we have to start paying more school fees. What's that about? All these new rules just to maintain the prestige of our school? I don't get it. But I did some digging with the help of another student from the other class, and we found out that there's an organization, a higher power, that's controlling our school. Okay, they are the ones in charge of all these new rules. Between those who left, there's only one that can restore the balance. And that, ladies and gentlemen, leads me to believe that Madame Souping will return. Shut us up, okay? Nobody will There's return. There's so many unanswered questions. No. Like, who is Leanne Lo? No, I found this in the staff knows. room. Who is no, that? Who? No such person, okay? Just go back to your seat, okay? Let's not spread any fake news. Please, lights on. Thank you. Nobody's returning, okay? So, who's next? <laughs> Hi class, I'm Trev, and this is my lovely assistant partner, I mean, my partner, Abby. Do you want to say a few words? Let's just get this over with, Trev. Okay. okay. So today, guys, I'm going to present to you guys something important, something revolutionary, something that will change your life. So please, just give me your fullest attention for the next 60 seconds, and I guarantee you, you will walk out of this room a different person. Okay? Okay, sounds great. Right? So have you guys ever had problems with holding your water bottle, you know, like... Whoops. Your keys. Or even your phone, like... Whoops. Fret not. Because we have the brand new Maxim Holder 9000S. <laughs> you no longer have to worry about holding stuff. You know, you see, look at me. You can just... Pick this up easily, you know, like... Yeah! <laughs> you can even pick up the phone, you know? Like, yeah, you, you, get, you get the point, guys. You get the point. Starting bid at a low, low price of $600. Huh? $600 only. Anyone? Perhaps I didn't explain myself well enough. Can I get a volunteer to come out here to demonstrate the true power of this Maxim Holder 9000S? I guess I'll do it. Ah, Vincent. Here you go. You still want this? I'm kind of thirsty. Ah, I'm just gonna take this anyway. Tough crowd today. I told you this was stupid. Just trust me, Abby. Whenever I ever feel you. Okay, no worries. I got something else, okay? Have you guys ever encountered issues with your glasses blocking your view? You know, obstructing your vision? Irritating your face? <laughs> That's because glasses belongs on your forehead. Ah, the more you know, right? <laughs> Introducing the brand new, the H01D 2000S. Come on, Abby, put this on. No, 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 I did not agree to that. Okay, fine, fine. With this, you no longer have to worry about your glasses blocking your 
vision. Ta-da! Any takers? Anyone? No one? It's okay, I got something else, guys. No! 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 Sorry, it's okay. We'll go back to the lab and figure out more inventions. Oh yeah, the liquid suction 9000. You mean the straw? The what? It works! It works! Hi! So today we have prepared a presentation on the crisis of our planet Earth. Something that we need to address and tackle immediately. It is global warming. Now, global warming is caused by the increase of carbon dioxide in the air due to human pollution and it has caused severe damage to our environment. We need to do something now. We need to do something immediately so that our future generation will have something to look forward to. If you agree with me, let's reduce, reuse and recycle so that we can reduce the effect of global warming. Thank you. Wow, Fish, that's really impressive. Thank you so much. How about you, Hamza? Uh, I concur. What do you mean by you concur? Uh, I mean I concur, Miss Shirley. So, do you concur? I guess I concur. That's great. Okay, Hakim, you're up next. Me? Isn't it Debbie's turn? I already went up, Hakim. Oh, then I guess it's Vicky's turn, right? Okay, it's not Vicky's turn. Stop making excuses, Hakim. Make excuses? Me, Shirley. I want you to know that I would never do that. Then come on up. You are 100% right, Miss Shirley. But... But never mind. Just sit where you are. See me after school. Today's presentation is about feelings. The feeling of disappointment. You see, without expectations, there will not be disappointment. And without disappointment, there will not be expectations. So thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Wait, Ray is young. That's all? I mean, I can't greet you based on just a few sentences, you know? Yeah, um, sure, sure. Yeah, that's not enough. You guys might be thinking, what am I talking about? But the true question is, what are we talking about? You see, where do we stand in this conversation? with expectations and disappointment. See, if you let today just go by, it will never come back. And that's kind of disappointing. But yesterday can be disappointing. Tomorrow can be disappointing. Today, would it be disappointing? Where do we stand in this conversation about disappointment and expectations? Where do we put our expectations to end disappointment together? In a day. Where do we put today, yesterday, and tomorrow? To sum it up. A day without expectations is a day without disappointment. And a disappointment without the day is a day without expectations. So, do you guys have any quick questions? Do you guys have any? So, no questions. Uh, so, Denise, you wanted to talk? What's up, Denise? I heard you wanted to go hiking. You know, we can go. We can talk about my presentation and all that. E equals to MC Fab. <laughs> you down? Let's go. Maybe another time. I'm actually working on a game I'm planning to release soon. I'm really close to completing it. Come with us. We've got lots to talk about. Bring along your... stuff. And as you can see here, you can swipe left and right in order to avoid all the obstacles. You can even compete with your friends to see if you can obtain a higher score. The game is called Class Rush. The majority of the characters are based on the really cool seniors in Titan Academy. And Kevin. 
I'm actually planning to add more characters in the future as well. It will just take a little bit more time as animating isn't really my strong suit, but in terms of programming, I've got it all covered. Here, check it out. Wow, that's a really impressive game you have there, Cleverly. It must have been really hard for you to have worked on this game all on your own for the students of Python Academy. What's the estimated time frame for the release of the game? Well, I'll still need to fix a few bugs here and there, but it should be ready for release by the end of the month. Wow, a few bugs is not going to hurt anyone. Why don't you release it sooner so that uh, more people can enjoy it? How does the end of the day sound to you? I'm sure you can finish it by then. But there's still so much to be done. And regarding the publishing of the game... Leave the publishing of the game to us. You see, here at the organization, we have an amazing game publishing department that's able to help you out with the process so that you can roll out your game ASAP. But all you need to do is finish the game by the end of the day. I'm sure you can do that, right? I guess I could. Uh, it would certainly be nice to get some help for the publishing of the game. I just hope that the game can be released for free so that everyone can enjoy it. Like I say, leave the publishing to us. Oh, okay. But also, Miss Shirley just gave us a bunch of homework to complete by tomorrow. Don't worry about that. We'll have a word with Miss Shirley. Just focus on getting your game ready by the end of the day. Wow, really? So I get to just focus on the game and skip on homework? That's like a dream come true. Of course, we always have the students' best interests at heart. We wouldn't want something as trivial as homework to get in the way of what they are interested in doing. Isn't that right, Retna? Of course, sir. Now, why don't you head off? Don't leave until you're done. Wow. Okay. Wow. I'm so glad that someone finally appreciates what I do. Thank you guys so much. I'll make sure it's done by the end of the day. You know what? I actually have a lot of bad things about you guys, but maybe you guys aren't so bad after all. home doing stuff but instead I'm here in detention doing other stuff this is your fault Sunny my fault but you trip first okay cut it out we'll just delegate tasks so that we can get this done over and quickly okay you grab a broom and start sweeping and you grab the cloth and start wiping the tables then what about you I'll supervise but I already cleaned the entire cafeteria why do I have to wipe the tables too yeah and I don't sweep the floors I don't even know how to use a broom I'll do it. Jeez, let's get it done quickly. At this rate, I'm never going for my date with Cleverly. Guys, we are here to help because we feel really bad. You feel bad? I just didn't have anything to do, so let's clean some tables. While waiting for you to finish up in detention, I finished up my game as well. Do you guys want to try? Game? Yeah, sure. 
Well, we got nothing better to do anyway. So this game is actually based on the students of Titan Academy. It was based on that one time where I saw a bunch of our schoolmates rushing for school and avoiding obstacles on the way in. So I decided to make a game where we could rush against the clock to make it in time for class. No two characters are the same, and the more you play, the more characters you unlock. I actually added you seniors in first, and I'm planning to add us juniors in later on. Sorry, so you added us without our permission? That's kind of weird, Cleverly. Wait a minute, why am I so slow? Can you do something about that? Maybe in the next update? <laughs> Wait, an endless runner game? What are we, in 2011? Come on, what's next, huh? Angry Birds, Tempo Run, Mobile Legends? <laughs> Hold on. Why is Madam Subbing in this game? Why would you put Madam Subbing in this game? Of all people, Madam Subbing, really? Yeah, and just a suggestion. How about we add some pops in the game for our characters and maybe add invisibility for a few seconds? Wow, that's a great suggestion, Sunny. Maybe you should create the game. Cleverly, this game is actually pretty fun. I can't believe you are able to create a game all by yourself. That's impressive. Well, it took a lot of sleep this night, but I'm glad that I finally did it. So, when are you releasing it? Hey, 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 didn't you say you didn't like the game? Well, he did give my character max stats, so it's not so bad. So, when are you releasing it? Well, actually, Mr. Allen and Mrs. Fragner approached me and offered to release the game for me. What? Whoa. Whoa. What? Whoa. Excuse me, what? We literally just spent the whole day cleaning up the cafeteria and the classroom in which I had no part of messing up while you spend your entire day sucking up to those people who made all these ridiculous rules. Whose side are you even on? Jeez, it's no wonder nerds like you get all the good grades. No, no, no. Guys, listen to me. They're actually really good people. They're really supportive of the game and even told me that I could skip homework just to focus on my interests. They're really here for the students, guys. Okay, Cleverly. If you say so, I believe you. Come on guys, let's give them a chance. After all, they are the one running the school. We don't really have a choice. Okay, fine. Whatever, whatever. <sighs> give me the game. Chloe and Cleverly? According to my understanding, you guys are not part of this detention group. So, as your gracious hall monitor, I will give you one chance and only one chance to disappear from my sight. Mr. Allen and Mrs. Regna will be arriving shortly. Kevin, what are you doing? I'm working overtime. I've got to earn my stripes around here. Mr. Allen and Mrs. Regna will be arriving in five, four, Three and a half. Two and one quarter. One. And... Attention! Class 10! What are you doing here? Why are you hiding from me? I don't know. I thought we were all hiding. I'm scared. Hello students, I hope that the class is spotless. We will begin with our check now. Very good students, after this detention, I hope you learn your lesson that your actions will lead to consequences. I do hope that you'll behave from now or else harsher punishments await.
You guys go ahead. I'll take it from here. Okay, got it. I'll go. Cleverly will be here anytime soon. Great. The students in this school are tougher to control than expected. It seems that we have to get rid of the majority of them. We will do this by implementing a school-wide examination where the failures are expelled. Reina, please ensure that the examination is extremely difficult to pass. But sir, wouldn't that affect the students? Students? Who cares about the students? They are merely pawns in the grand scheme of things. We can easily weed out most of the current students in the academy to make way for newer and better students. Understood, sir. That will be taken care of. And as for Cleverly and his game? Don't worry about him. He's the least of our worries. One of the easier ones to manipulate. He is needed for our future plans. We need to monetize the game immediately. His naive idea of making the game free brings us no benefits. Have a meeting with the publishing team to ensure that the game is profitable. Of course, the students should never ever find out about this. It's a shame it had to be you. I'll make sure the whole school knows about this. All the students will find out who you guys truly are and... and we'll make sure you're kicked out of Titan Academy. Quiet! The severity of your actions cannot go unpunished. What are you going to do? Suspend me? I was thinking of something more permanent. doing? I hope you guys are ready for your final presentation. But why the long faces? I'm sure you all will do fine. Anyway, Michael, your team is going out first. Are you guys ready? Uh, yeah. About that. What's wrong? Well, we just can't seem to find my dad. I'm sure it's fine. It's just we sort of had a falling out while we were working on the presentation. And uh, we just haven't seen him since. Right. I understand. But you guys will still need to present with or without him, okay? Anyway, I think it's time for you guys to present, so all the best, good luck, I'm sure all of you will do fine and I'll see you guys after presentation, okay? On to our topic regarding the importance of technology in the modern world, we will begin with how the implementation of QR codes have been crucial to our society. Uh, psst, sorry, uh, try looking at the teachers when you're presenting. Oh, um, if you guys don't mind, could you please move forward in front of me? No, 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 that's not what I meant. Look at them from time to time, right? Eye contact is very important. Mm, okay, I guess I could try that. So, through implementing QR codes, 
We are able to And that is why we believe that this is extremely important And that's all I have to say for my part of the presentation Now I would like to pass on the time to one of my group mates Thank you, Ms. But before that, I would like to give her an introduction. She is an amazing classmate that I had the pleasure of working with on this project. Sally, first of her name, the undisturbed queen of night school, the breaker of hearts, and mother of Shirley. So for today's presentation, I will be continuing on from Mr. Dan's point to further elaborate how we can stay happy in life. But before I begin, I would like to check if everyone in this room can hear me. I'll be talking about... Oh, oh. Man, what are you doing here? What did you do? Where's it now? I don't know. I thought it was with you. Kevin, what did you... How do I fix this? Give me that! It's not, it's not working, Kevin! Wait, 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 wait. Hurry up, I don't want to oh, blow the tension! That's a snake, Kevin! <laughs> oh, Kevin! <laughs> what about that? It's the same snake! <laughs> ah, screw it! <laughs> okay. And that's all I have to say. Thank you! Oh, it worked. Oh, what a wonderful speech! So today for my part, I'm going to talk about friendship. Now friend, very important. Good example is my friendship with Jess and Annabelle. Everything is very smooth. Just like my home group bubble tea, selling at my restaurant. My please, let's promote your restaurant later, all right? Oh, okay, sorry. sorry. As my was saying, not all the friendship are good. Some bad, especially without good communication. Sometimes you know life friend. But what you would like is my award winning fur for limited order only. Buy one, get one free. Mine just follow the script. Yeah, my follow my script. See? What? That's not the script. Oh yeah? This is my new menu with the 600 dishes and the QR code. Thank you, Dan. So, for today, I'll be discussing the topic of... Wait, why is that person looking at me funny? Did I say something wrong? I must be the head tail. Is he trying to tell me something? Is it like Morse code or something? Wait, why are they laughing? Was it something I said? You know what? It must have been something I said. That's not very nice. And this guy, what's he trying to do here? Eating during my presentation? Wait, why is he eating here? Why was he staring at me? Do I have something on my face? So today our presentation is about the meaning of friendship. Now when I started this program, to be honest, I hated it. I hated dragging myself out of the house every night to go to some stupid school. But that was before I met these guys. They made every moment I was there so much more enjoyable. And even though I don't have my Amex Black Card or my Doggy Spa Salon, what I do have are the everlasting friendships that I forged throughout the night school program. And that is something that money cannot buy. And it is because of that, I'm standing here today proudly to finish this journey. True friends aren't the ones who make your problems disappear. They're the ones who don't disappear even when you have problems. Well said. Alright, it's almost our turn to go up. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta have to change into my outfit. I mean, yes. Oops. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait, you do realize you're not wearing any pants, right? Yeah. You told me smart casual, right? Smart casual. Smart casual. Hi guys! So for my team's presentation today, we will be talking about Oh, hi, Debbie dear. How are you? How was school today? Hi, Mom. Yes, everything's okay. I managed to complete all my homework in school today. Oh, that's great, honey. Mommy is so proud of you. OMG, is your friend okay? You know the one who looks like she wants to fight everyone? Vicky, 
Yeah, I guess it's a bit awkward, but I'm sure things will be fine by now. How's you and Vicky's dad? Ooh, everything's dandy. See, he even asked me out too. Look, can we just start with the presentation? Yes, yes, carry on. Don't let me interrupt. And hence, with that, concludes my presentation. Now, we'll be opening up the floor to some questions. Anybody has... Yes, 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 yes. I do have a couple of questions. Yes, uh, Subing? That's Madam Subing to you. Now, in your presentation, you mentioned that mistakes will inevitably be made in a relationship and it's up to both parties to try fixing it. Yes. Well, if the mistake is that your significant other decides to leave you and your child for China in order to live the rest of his life with his mistress, do you think that can be forgiven? Okay, well, that seems rather specific. No, <laughs> of course not. Why, guilty? To answer your question, I believe that... No, I don't think your significant other should be forgiven. I knew it! Wait, what? Y you don't think so? Yeah. I mean, why should this guy be forgiven? He made a huge mistake. He neglected his family because he was foolish and thought he could do better. And he was wrong. His family suffered because of it. So no, I don't think this guy deserves forgiveness. But I believe that people can change. And I know it sounds super cliche, but I believe that this guy regrets everything he has done in the past and will do anything to go back in time to prevent it from happening, to rebuild a bond with his daughter and try his best to fix the already irreparable damage he has caused. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's what your significant other would have said hypothetically, right? Where's dad? We have to go up right now. I don't know, but I'm sure he'll show up, right? I mean, he always does. Yeah, but what if this time he doesn't? It's not even about the presentation anymore. What if we don't see him again? I'm just so worried. Don't worry, okay? Grandpa isn't the type to just ghost us. I'm sure he'll be here. I promise. Look, I've learned a couple of ways to relax. Really? From where? TikTok. It's a reliable source. Just breathe faster, you know? It gets more oxygen to the brain, and you'll make you feel less stressed. Look, Dad, we got this, all right? I believe in us. Thanks, Cam. Let's do this. Okay. No, like we practiced. Never mind, let's go. Now, I really wish Grandpa was here today to finish this presentation together. It would mean the world to me. And if he was here, he would have said something like this. That yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. And today is a gift. And that's why it's called the present. Master Ugwe! Grandpa, you came! That's what she said. <laughs> Shirley, we are very impressed with the night school program. It has been an absolute success. Yes, I hate to say this, Shirley, but well done. 
Thanks. So does that mean I get a pay raise? A raise. Yeah. I don't think that was ever on the table. But hey, wasn't it always about the fulfillment and not about the money? <laughs> I should have just kept my mouth shut. What's that? What's what? Did I say something? Did you say something? You know, it's fine. I'll just make my way up. Cool. Yeah. You did so well. It was a success. But then where's my pay raise? Miss Jelly, Miss Jelly, wait, wait. Wait, you guys haven't left? Miss Jelly, before we leave, we wanted to give you something to thank you for everything you've done for us. It's from everyone. Oh, thank you guys. You guys are so sweet. Miss Shirley, before I entered night school, I wasn't even sure why I needed to be here. But I don't regret it a single bit. Yes, Miss Shirley, we're going to miss you so much. And don't forget about my invitation for those spin classes. And yes, don't forget to visit my restaurant to get the free supply of tap water. <laughs> okay, come on in guys, come on. As a teacher, there's always a feeling of wonder when meeting people from all walks of life. Every student is different. But no matter how old you are, there's always something to learn. And even though the night school has ended, their journey has just begun. And if you're wondering how they're doing, well, Zoe has overcome her fears of being nervous and is now more confident in herself. My mom and I are spending more precious time together. For Chelsea, she actually got together with James for a week. <laughs> Michael, Robert and Cameron started having more family bonding activities together. Jess finally got the promotion she needed. And Jack still has to go home to his wife. Mai has truly understood the importance of friendship and has inspired people to be selfless. As for Annabelle, she has decided to continue her education. And where you ask? <laughs> There's a story for another day. Lastly, for Mr. Den, the school board was so impressed with his performance that they decided to offer him role as the head of curriculum planning. Hi, Mr. Den. So, what do you say? I'm not going to do it. Are you sure about this? Chances like this don't come easy. The best thing about my job is that I get to watch these kids grow up to be strong, independent adults. And nothing can ever take that away from me. That is until they graduate, of course. So yeah, thanks Ragna. See you in PE. Yeah, that's more like it. Guys! Does anyone remember the definition of mitosis? I'm pretty sure it's going to turn out in this exam. Thank you! It is a process where a single cell divides twice to produce four cells containing... No, that's actually meiosis. Meiosis? Don't you mean mitosis? No, they're not the same thing. Trust me, that's meiosis. No, trust me, it's mitosis. Meiosis. Mitosis. Meiosis. Mitosis. No, mitosis. Meiosis. Mayonnaise? What is this? Everyone go into the exam hall now. Okay. Ben is this allowed in the exam? No, Kevin. My tasty mitosis. Mm. Oh man, I told you guys mitosis was gonna come up. By the way, what was your answer to that question? Based on the formation of the cell, my answer is B. Actually, the answer is a C. Mmm, I got C too. Wait, what about the one about the chromosome? Answer for that is a B. Mmm, I got B too. How about the graph? What graph? The question in the back, the one that is 35% of the entire paper. Mmm, I did not see that. 35% you say? Mm. I need to go back to the exam hall now. But I'm so bad, I missed out, bitch. I need to go back to the exam hall. Ah! My toes Ah! I'm confident. I'm confident. <laughs> ah, this time I'm ready for the exam. <laughs> oh. I studied so hard! 
out and I can't even remember that the memory is the outer lining of the cell. <laughs> it separates the cell from its environment and allows materials to enter and leave the cell. <gasps> Why do I really remember things only after the exam? <laughs> Probability is a numerical description of how likely an event is to occur or how likely it is that a proposition is true. Man, when will I ever need to use this? Probability? Zero. <laughs> Kevin, exams are over. Why are you still studying? I'm studying the odds. Odds? For what? FIFA World Cup. Based on the group matches, the odds of this would be... Hello? Put it on Australia, baby. <laughs> yes, all in. Yeah, yeah. See, based on my research and these articles, the five-time winner of Australia is going to win the World Cup. <laughs> Kevin, you're betting on the wrong spot. This article is about cricket. Cricket? That's not a spot, that's an animal. That's not an animal, that's an insect. That's not an insect, it's a snack. That's not a snack, it's my friend, cricket. I'm not cricket, I'm cricket. Hello? Yeah, Thailand. Mm. Man, we're gonna go for a study group meetup. Why do we have to hang out with them? We should just focus on studying ourselves. You know, Denise has all the notes. It'll be helpful. But I can help you. Yeah, but it's better to work in a group, you know? Yeah, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, guys. So these are the chemistry notes that I prepared. I've highlighted all of the important pointers and also added my own annotations inside. All right, and here are my math and physics notes. When I have done my part, here you go. Dear diary, group of guys in my class decided to make us. What is this is your diary? Do you like it? No, you don't. We still have a lot to go through, guys. <laughs> it's over, guys. It's over. I'm gonna be stuck in team one, team one forever. <laughs> Me too. Wait, how am I gonna memorize all this in one night? All right, look, guys, just relax, okay? Don't forget, we still have the group chat. Oh. And if you have any doubts about the notes, you can just drop me a message via the group chat. I will walk you through it. Just let me know. Let's go! Go team! Yay! Exams! Yay! Go team! Look, we're done with our exams. We don't have to join the study group anymore. I just want to check my answers with Denise, okay? Everything's gonna be about Denise, huh? Don't you think you're overreacting, Lil? Look, if you don't want to go, just go home. Yeah, I'll go myself. I'll go myself. <sighs> Man, I did so bad in the exam. But at least it ended, right? Yeah. And now that it's over, what should we do, guys? Uh, well, I guess there's no reason for us to meet anymore. You guys know what to do. I'm going to miss you guys. Don't worry, Wei Xiang. I guess we'll meet again. Um, maybe in the next exams. Next exams. Alright, it was nice knowing you guys. <laughs> Hey, why are you here? <laughs> There's just too much to memorize. <laughs> Please make this an easy one. I know I've been a bad person, but, but I'll try to be better. I'll, I'll even be a vegetarian for a week. No, a month. I'll, I'll even donate to charity. Just please, please make this an easy paper. <laughs> the gods, they have answered. <laughs> Is that a sign? Does that mean yes? Man, that was an easy paper. <laughs> Hi, would you like to donate to this charity? Charity? <laughs> You see, my friend, in life, you gotta work out for things. You can't just go around and ask people for money. <laughs> Bye! Oh, 
keep the change. Thank you. Oh. You know what, guys? Once the exams are over, we'll have no more stress. Let's travel together. Yeah, let's party like there's no tomorrow. We can go skydiving, scuba diving, even rock climbing. Where shall our destination be? How about Maldives? How about Boracay? How about Mumbai? <laughs> so much to look forward to. I can't wait for exams to be over. So now that exams are over, what shall we do first? Shall we book our flights? Mm, sorry, Julin, but I can't travel. My mom signed me up for lots of piano lessons. Oh, then... Rock climbing? Dini? Maybe another time. I gotta study for my test. What test? The exams are over! My blood test. My whole family has called B's. I'm hoping to be the very first A+. Come on, why can't we have fun just for once? Hey, I heard something about rock climbing. Is that space for one more? Uh, I'm kinda tired. I'm just gonna head home and rest. Hey, are you okay? Why are you smiling so much? I just feel really prepared for the exam this year. I've gone through all of my notes. I've missed none of the topics out. Something tells me that this exam is going to go real soon. <laughs> Denise, are you okay? You know you can talk to me, right? I won't judge. Was the paper too hard? It's just, the exam was so short. It only lasted 10 minutes. And I've been waiting for this paper for a whole year. I didn't take my time. I didn't appreciate every single question. I didn't savor the paper. And I finished it in 10 minutes. But you did well, right? Yes, of course I did. So why are you so frustrated? You're missing the point! Man, we've been studying for so long. I think we should take a break. No, now take this down. This is going to come out for the exam. Okay, Number one, okay. when it comes to partial fractions, check the powers at the top, check the powers at the bottom. If the top is larger than the bottom, you're going to do long division. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, but do you mind slowing down? No, we don't have time. Okay, now, okay. this sine graph, its shape repeats every two pi. So the sine graph, it starts at zero. After pi and a half, it moves up to a one. After another half of a pi, the graph goes from a one to a zero. And then after that, it goes down to a negative one. And that's what gives it that wavy shape. Wow. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? You're I right. think this is the most beautiful graph in the world. So much effort put into this. I think this may be my best work yet. Thanks, Denise. I've never written notes like this. You know what? Now that the exams are over, I don't need these anymore. This has brought nothing but anguish, torture, and suffering. I'll show you what I'll do with them. Hey, 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 hey! That's my grandma's secret recipe for Kung Pao Frog Lake Porridge. Huh. Oh, these are my notes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey! That's my grandma's secret recipe for a Kung Pao Frog Head Porridge. These are my notes. Hey! What recipe is it this time? That's my shirt. Why are there writings on your shirt? I, I need a backup for the recipes. Ah. Where are my notes? They're right here. Oh. You know what? Now that I think of it, I'm going to keep them for memory's sake. I can't stop it. Oh. I'm not paid enough for this. Oh, please, they're my recipe. Don't take them away from me. <laughs> so listen up, guys. As you all know, this is not our first time cheating. Yeah, and the last time we did, something went wrong. It's like, we almost got caught last time. That may be true. However, this time, it's going to be different. After years of experimenting, I have come up with a foolproof plan. Aha, that's right. <laughs> so here's the plan. Denise is obviously going to finish her exam in the first 10 minutes. Then we are going to exchange papers. Denise will then do my paper while I will give all of you the answers. You sure she's okay with that? It's a win-win for me. I get to do the paper twice. <laughs> all right. Memorize my finger movements. Oh, uh, um, just 
Wait, wait, wait. That is A. No. This is B. That is C. And that is D. Sure, this is gonna work. Look, trust me. It worked in the movie. All right, all right, good enough for me. All right, you got this, guys. Yo, we can do this. Uh, so they're gonna bring the piano inside. Move your body so that I can see your hands. I still can't see it. Look, wouldn't it be easier if you just tell us the answers? Look, that is cheating. Let's just stick to the plan. It's not working. Look at Vincent. He thinks cricket is part of the plan. Okay, guys, just look. Follow my fingers. Which one was that again? Yeah. The difference. I don't play piano. Yeah, I can't memorize my notes. How can I memorize finger movements? Okay, I am just going to do it one more time. One more time for all of you. Stop making so much noise, Jian Hao. You are distracting your classmates. One more sound from you, and you are out of this. Psst. Finish the song. Why do we think this is a good idea? Sorry, can you like slow down? I gotta keep up. No, no, no. I can't fall asleep. This is gonna be worth it. I'll sleep when the exam ends. Alright, you have five minutes before the exam begins. Please write your names on your papers. Wake up, do it, do it, do it, do it. Wake up, do it, 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 we let you come to our party! <laughs> and it's a private event. Only exclusive people get invited. Mm. No thanks. I don't like parties. But if you really need the help, I'm willing to teach you. So these are my notes. You can copy this down. And these are all of my predictions for the exam. Oh, oh, okay. Thanks, Denise. You're the Thank best. you, Denise. Hey, did you hear? Trev and Ben are having a house party, but it's by invite only. I think I can probably get us an invite. Wait, really? How? That was easy, easy peasy. <laughs> hey guys, hmm? so about that party, can I bring a friend? Party? Sorry guys, what party? <laughs> what, what, what party? What? Party that you mentioned? Oh, I think you got the wrong people. There's no party. <laughs> See you at the party, Trev. Like I said, there's no party. <laughs> For nerds. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is hopeless. I give up. If I'm meant to retain, so be it. Look! None of my students are gonna give up. Here, take this, and this, and this. And memorize and study all these notes. But there's like a hundred chapters and only one of me. Don't you dare give up because I believe in you. You do? Mm. 
There's just way too many exam papers to mark. Here, take this, and this, and this, and mark it all. What? But there are 100 exam papers and only one of me! Don't you dare give up, because I believe in you. And also, some of the teachers are on leave, so I hope you understand. And no overtime. This is our duty. <sighs> Debbie, dear, what's the matter? It's the exams. I don't know if I can score well this year. The questions keep getting harder and harder. Don't worry so much, darling. Hey, look at me. As long as you try your best, that's all that matters. Mommy will be so proud of you regardless. Really, Mom? Thank you. Why the sad face? Exams didn't go well. See, Mommy always said, prepare, prepare, prepare. Oh, this wouldn't have happened if you stayed at home and studied and didn't hang out as much with the boys. Oh, why can't you be like the smart kids in school? But, but Mommy said, so as long as I try my... Don't even look at me unless you score above a... 100 minus 20, 80, 80, 85. So for your final examination, there will be a couple of formulas. So Bang, I'm here to take the kids to PE. Dude, I've never been so happy to see Mr. Dan. There will be no PE today, Mr. Dan. The exams are coming, there are syllabus to cover and there's not enough time. What are you still doing in my class? Get out of my classroom now! Should have taken Ragnar's offer. As I was saying, there are a couple of formulas that you will... Next up, we have velocity. Now, can anyone tell me what velocity is? Madam Subbing, since the exams are over, why are we still studying? Free period, let's go! Yeah, let's go! Yeah. Free period, yeah. Yeah. Go for yeah. Let's not waste any more time after exams. We got to party! 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 Good morning, Miss Island and Mrs. Ragnar. Ah, uh, come on! You think I'm gonna fall for that trick? Mrs. Ragnar and Mr. Allen most probably doing some lame speech about exams are important to other classes. What are they going to do here? Expel me? <laughs> they can't even do that the last time. <laughs> oh, you guys standing still? You guys think I will believe that they are behind me? <laughs> Please. Stupid Mr. Allen. Stupid Mrs. Ragnar. Stupid exams. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> okay. For your sake, I will turn around and take a look. <laughs> <laughs> this feels familiar. Good morning, Mr. Ragnar and Mrs. Ragnar. Mr. Allen and Mr. Ragnar. Mr. I'm, I'm gonna just sit down. Wow. Can you We initially wanted to congratulate Class D1 T5 for your 100% passing rate. But it seems some of you students think that the school faculty and exams are stupid. So we've decided that we'll be sending all of you to a more rigorous international examination such as IELTS, TOEFL and SATs which will decide where you'll be heading to when you graduate starting from next year onwards. So forget about your break, forget about Christmas, forget about the World Cup. No, not the World Cup! Anything but the World Cup! Better start studying! <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, I'm sorry.